<laughs> you are fabulous. But I, I, I don't know, but I had a great deal to say. And um, I, I began my career here actually in 1949. And uh, I think that uh, my success really came for living in Carnegie Hall. At the time it was during the war and I was living in a farm in, in Washington, D.C. And uh, when we moved, we had came to New York, we had no place to go at the time. And one Sunday I looked in the paper and there was a full page, work and live in Carnegie Hall. And I thought said to my husband, what is this, Harold? Maybe we should look into it for a, a time. So he went down to Carnegie Hall and spoke with uh, Norvell, who used to give lectures in the, the concert hall. And uh, so I, I also photographed him at the time. And uh, he said, you know, I'm moving to California and the studio is for rent. And I thought, my husband came, he says, I have to, you know, talk to you about the studio. I think it would be good for us to move in there. We'd get some publicity and so on. <laughs> But when he went back to give him the rent, the man had uh, rented it to someone else for $500 more. <laughs> so um, um, he said the man next door is going away to Hawaii for a year, a subtenant. He said, why don't you take it? And he said, he may never come back and the studio will be yours. And that's just what happened. And years later, when he came by to say hello, he said, you know, I was so happy in Hawaii, why did I want to come back to New York? <laughs> anyway, Carnegie Hall has been very great for me, and I shall always uh, remember it until the end of my days, which I don't know when that will be. It could be, you know, any time, 98. <laughs> No, 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 Anybody want to ask a quick question for Adida or anyone else? We also have uh, our authority on the tenants group and legal issues if anyone wanted to know anything in that area.